subatomic particles of an atom. Before starting the lecture, click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of unique and simple lectures for free. Firstly, let me teach you that how many total subatomic particles are there. Well, according to modern research, there are 36 subatomic particles present inside an atom. But at this level, we do not study all these 36 subatomic particles. We say that there are three subatomic particles. Proton, Electron and Neutron. The easy trick to remember subatomic particles of an atom is to remember pen. P stands for Proton, E stands for Electron and N stands for Neutron. Thus note it down that there are three subatomic particles. Now to learn more about the subatomic particles, we must learn about the atomic structure. According to Rutherford's atomic model, the structure of an atom contains three main areas. The central part of an atom is called nucleus. Secondly, there are shells or energy levels around the nucleus. Thirdly, 90% space in the atom is empty. Now what is the nucleus? Well, nucleus is the small, central and dense region of an atom. Also remember that, what are the shells? Shells are the circular path around the nucleus. Subatomic particles like protons and neutrons stay in the nucleus and they do not leave the nucleus. Electrons are constantly revolving around the nucleus just like planets revolve around the sun. Now what about the charges of subatomic particles? Well, we know that proton is positively charged particle, electron is negatively charged particle and neutron is neutral particle. Always remember that N in the neutron stands for neutral particle. Here, let me teach you a bonus concept. How do we know that electrons are negatively charged and protons are positively charged particle? Well, there are different experiments reveal that electrons are negatively charged particles and protons are positively charged particles. But let me teach you a simple experiment. Consider two plates, positively charged plate, negatively charged plate and electric field between them. Now let me place an electron inside the electric field. We will observe that electron always move towards the positive plate. Also we know that unlike charges attract. So this electron is therefore moving towards the positive plate because it must be negatively charged. Thus we say that electron is negatively charged particle. Secondly, let me place a proton in this electric field. We will observe that proton always move towards the negative plate. Also we know that unlike charges attract. So this proton is therefore moving towards the negatively charged plate because it must be positively charged. Thus we say that proton is positively charged particle. Finally, what about the masses of subatomic particles? Well, the mass of a proton is 1 AMU or 1 atomic mass unit. The mass of a neutron is also 1 AMU or 1 atomic mass unit. And the mass of an electron is 1 upon 1800 AMU or 1 upon 1800 atomic mass unit. Remember that the mass of an electron is so small that it is considered as round about 0 AMU or 0 atomic mass unit. To summarize my lecture, we learned that there are three or pen subatomic particles, proton, electron and neutron. Also we learned that protons and neutrons stay in the nucleus and electrons revolve around the nucleus in fixed circular paths called shells or energy levels. Secondly, we learned that proton is positively charged particle, electron is negatively charged particle and neutron is a neutral particle. Finally, we learned that the mass of a proton is one atomic mass unit the mass of a neutron is also one atomic mass unit and the mass of an electron is round about zero atomic mass unit. This was all about the subatomic particles of an atom.